Hello, 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 hello. Look, my couch has no support, man. <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> also, hi, Jojo. Hi, Penguin. Tap, tap. <laughs> Let me do some tapping ASMR. <laughs> Happy Friday, you guys. You're like a fish in a bowl with this tapping. <laughs> Good, I'm getting you ready. <laughs> Hello! Look, I found a hat. I'm ready for this game. I got my sailor hat. <laughs> Hi, Cal. Hope you're doing well. Calls on 14 loves. Uh, thank you so much for the resub. Holy shit, 18 months? Holy fuck, thank you, Bex. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Congrats on the wedding, by the way. Yay for additional tax benefits. The ghosts! Shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot my boobs! I forgot my boobs! Hold on, hold on! <laughs> I forgot my chest, y'all! Hold on! I knew I was forgetting something. I was like, what am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting something. I'm okay, y'all. I'm okay. I was so busy trying to get this find the sailor hat <laughs> hold on hold on i will i will fix this hold on ghosts there we go ah! <laughs> we got the boobs <laughs> husbando yeah call him husbando instead of husband and then he can call you waifu. I actually wouldn't care. <laughs> if I got married, I probably would call my husband husbando. <laughs> and I'd probably tell him to call me waifu. <laughs> I'd be like, call me waifu. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> I, how long were you guys engaged? Were you guys engaged for a long time? If I was engaged for a long time, I probably would not get used to calling them my husbando too. I'd probably call him my future husbando still. <laughs> I'd be like, this is my future husbando. Oh wait, we already got married, huh? <laughs> I know, I know things. <laughs> Oh yeah. Weddings like weddings are a lot, man. No more stress dreams, yeah. No more nightmares of everything going wrong on the day of the wedding. Or dreams of like falling in a mud puddle in your wedding dress. Engaged for three years? Damn. I've never been engaged. I've never made it that far with anybody. <laughs> I want to see an RGB Tonberry. <laughs> Water! Oh God! Hi, it's you. <laughs> I want to. One day, I have dreams. I have dreams of getting a new model, and when I get the new model, I'm gonna have a Tom that I can hold, that can like hang out with me. 
And he can say things. <laughs> By the time I have the money for it, AI will be good enough that I can I can make Tom an AI. <laughs> and he'll just say random shit while I'm streaming. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, actually. So how was your guys' week? Anything exciting happen? My kid has started spring break today. So I've got a kid without school for a week and a half. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Let them run free. Oh, she says hi. Mini Calzone says hello. Hi, Zach. She had to go to bed, but she said hello before she went to bed. Okay, have a good lurk, Zach. Oh my gosh, Zach, how could you? How could you do this to me? I've got a sailor hat on. Oh! <laughs> if any time was the perfect time to be not having that, was now when I've got the sailor hat. <laughs> Son of a flip flop. You mother boater. <laughs> it's just gonna be all boat related puns. Motor boater. <laughs> <laughs> we do a bit of trollage. Okay, uh, okay, I'll allow it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can be family friendly. Nag, dang it. <laughs> no! I'm a panda. I'm a sailor panda. I'm a sailor red panda. Today I'm the I'm a sailor. I'm gonna catch creepy fishies. I'm gonna catch some creepy fishies and I'm gonna have some psychosis. It's gonna be great. <laughs> okay, so question. The game has music, but it's very like chill. Do you guys want to hear that music? Or would you rather have something more like my normal upbeat music when I'm playing? Nah, Rhett. <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta turn that off. I forgot. Hold on a sec. Man, it's been a, it's been a week. Let me tell you guys. Um, Overlays, I thought I turned it off though. I thought I turned off all my timers. Maybe I forgot that one. Okay. There we go. And I need to get in to find out where we're at for Ultima. Creator dashboard, let's go. Ah! <laughs> Manage reward request. There we go. Ah! <laughs> okay. Ultima is at, where are we at? 31. Ultima's a baby Ultima right now. Hi, Valen. You guys cool with the chill, mu with the chill music? Like it's, ah! Speaking of fish, <laughs> like it's good music. It's just really, it's very calming, but in some regions it's pretty creepy. Ah! But I don't think I'm, ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna reach that. I'm not gonna reach those zones yet today. 
I'll probably be in like this in this first starting zone probably for most of this stream. Ah! <laughs> Hi Ivory. <laughs> Hi Valen. So, if you guys are cool with if you guys want to hear the chill music, I'll keep the I can turn on the the game music, but if you guys want more upbeat music, I can keep the pretzel music on. It's totally up to you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a poll. Poll. What music? Chill game music or EDM pretzel music. I'm gonna give you two minutes. Um, it's Dredge. It is a fishing game that has a, um, ah! <laughs> so it's a fishing game, but it has like creepy slash psychological thriller elements kind of thrown in there. Hi, Viking. Flops in chat. <laughs> it's a magic card. So there's like a mystery that you're uncovering while you're doing your fishing. And eventually there's like more and more weird things happening. And like things go really crazy at night if you stay awake. It's really interesting. I've watched, um, I watched Gabby, um, Jack Steptigai's girlfriend. I watched her play it and it looked so fun. <laughs> I do not splash. <laughs> One more hour of work to go. You can do it, Ivory. But it's like one of those things where like the creepy factor kind of happens they don't wait too long for the creepy factor to kind of come through, but the real psychological, like, intense mystery part of it happens later on. So this first part of, this, of the game will probably just be mostly fishing and getting hints of the creepy. Make that money, yo, let's go. Man, I could never do sales. I'm too much of a pushover. <laughs> I, I can't, I, I can't bring myself to try to force people to buy things. I'm like, you don't have to, you don't want to. <laughs> all right, let's see. Nobody voted. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That feeling when you try to get participation and no one participates. Now I'm... <laughs> I just did a poll and nobody saw it. Hi, <laughs> Sonnen. It just happened. No vote, only chaos. <laughs> I wanted to engage... I wanted to gauge what which music do you guys want? The in-game music, which is kind of it's very slow and chill and like, you know, relaxing. Or if you guys want the more upbeat music that's playing right now. Because <laughs> we can do both. But if you really want the creepy factor, we, we play the in-game music. But I didn't know, because it's a Friday night, normally we have like the upbeat dance music. I didn't know if y'all wanted me to go chill for the game. <laughs> In-game or darkest dungeon music? <laughs> Emotional? <laughs> oh my god, Penguin, that's perfect. Emotional damage! <laughs> that was fucking perfect. 
I'm using that for the next fucking title of this game. Remind me. Don't let me forget that. I want that for the title the next time I play this. <laughs> okay, we'll just do the in-game music. Since... Ah! <laughs> it's, it's not gonna be a creepy... It's not a creepy pasta if we're not doing the the creepy game. Okay. Actually, you know what? I should probably go into browser mode so you guys can see everything. There we go. I can see forever! <laughs> okay, let me get the music going. All right, how's the volume? Is that good volume for you guys? Turn some of this stuff down too. All right. Maybe a tiny bit low, okay. How's that? Okay, what are the controls for this? Okay. Let me do this. And then I'm gonna up this. Turn this. We'll just work on this side. Okay, hold on. It got quiet. <laughs> Music? Hello? I need you to come back so I can I can play with my sound settings. <laughs> it's gone forever. No! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> That's what I get, man. All right. Well. <laughs> okay. We'll just we'll just start us. We'll just start and we'll go from there. Job listing, angler wanted. Man, I got a sweet ass beard mustache combo going on. Why did I go into the storm? That's what I wanna know. Oh look, I crashed. Perfect. Someone, it was cause I'm so short. I couldn't see over the dashboard. <laughs> I didn't have my stool. <laughs> Lady Raccoon, no! <laughs> okay. Okay, music's good? We're good? Okay. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby, then notices you. Welcome to Great Tomorrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, oh, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. 
Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. <clears throat> I get a new boat. Thanks. Okay, move forward with W, S to reverse, turn with A and D. Okay. Let's go. Rotate camera. Adjust height with... Okay, move to a fishing spot, look for splashes, then press F. Okay. Hey, I got a fishy. Let's go. The wheat, and then X to leave. Okay. Start singing it now, man. Get all them shanties in. I want to hear them all. Ah, shit. Yeah, cod, baby. Woo. Uh. We need to be more efficient. There we go. I wanna go. I wanna go here. Check out these fishies. Hello, fishies. I am here to catch you. Disturbed water. Oh, I can't get those. Uh, nope. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Elusive Barrett cried the town. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. Uh, let's see. Oh, more mackerels. Okay. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific action. Okay. Hello, fishies. I'd like to fish you. Okay, more cod. Looking for other fishies. There has to be more than just cod and mackerel in these parts. Wow. Okie dokie. There's something out there. I want to get it. I'm so slow. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's, it's a bottle. It's a bottle. Yeah, I got a letter. Whoa, what's that over there? Why is it gold? There. Hello. Collect your light by holding E. Oh, I can't do that yet. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. All right. Back to port I go. Do, 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 do. Oh. I've got an eyeball. Dude, it got dark so quick. What the fuck? Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Okay. 
If I stare at the light, will it help? A floating buoy, it serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Okay. Vessel reversing! Vessel reversing! Whoa! Something like... made a... made a... jump for my... my boat! Why is... Oh, I have to hold it. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Also, hey Bacon, how was stream? Hold on, where's my- I can't move my- How dare, sir, how dare. Let me shout you out. Shout out. Hmm. What was the- What was the egg hunt? Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. <laughs> off you go, then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Huh. Oh, that's cool. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? <laughs> it takes a certain type of person to last out there. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, it's business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. Mm. So let's see what you got. Um, sell all fish. Hey, I made 57 because they took 10 bucks. All right. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Hmm. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you can make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Uh, okay. Research part. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. All right. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. Ah, you must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment up front. And everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. <sighs> Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Um, I've only got 50 bucks, but I would like a light. I can't buy any of it. So we're not going to do any of that. Okay, goodbye. I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> okay, so... What can I do for you? Uh, what happened to the last fisherman? Hmm? The last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running around on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. 
Nah, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Okay. I will go back to fishing. Uh, beep, 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 beep. I'm Calzone the Panda Girl. <laughs> toot toot. <laughs> All right. Fishing time. Fishing time. You can't fish here. Ah, this one's fast. Ah, okay. Hello, can I fish for you? No. I've learned that means I cannot fish for them. Can I fish for you? I can. More mackerels. Uh, those are big boys. I don't think I can fish those guys. No. <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> it would have been kind of funny if I could already. <laughs> Fish up a shark. <laughs> toot toot. I'm Cal the Red Panda Girl. Toot toot. I've got a little tugboat. Toot toot. I'm catching some cods and mackerels. I'm Cal the Panda Sailor. Do do ba do boo boo. There we go. Dude, time does go fast. Wow. Hey, I got a trophy. Let's go. Trophy fishy. I'm such a good fisher panda. Look at me. Depleted. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I saw that up there. I see it. It's about to show an eyeball. There's the eyeball. Run, little tugboat! Run! She do be forklift certified. <laughs> Whee! Okay, fishmonger. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me about it. They asked for a gulf flounder and a gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Okay. Sell all the fishies. I got $120. Yay! Okay. The skies were lit up with a weird crimson glow the other night. Did you see it? Um, I see it over there. There's like a red line. Okay, shallow? 75 or 150. Let's see. And that's 180. That's 100. I could do a cracked bulb and then a simple skimmer. 
but it'd be really slow. But then I can't use this one. This one's... Or I guess I could put it here. Should I do the... I'll do this. Okay. And then I guess I'll go to sleep. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shovels back along the path that leads to the lighthouse. What? Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marl? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? The contents don't feel like anything at all, just a wrapped mess of shapes. Okay. The mayor hands you a small damn package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Eww! The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. But don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. I mean, I think it's across the way. Creepy package. All right. Let's go deliver the goods. Beep, beep. I'm reminded of Sunless Sea. What? What's that? Is that like a creepy fishing game too? Look at my cute tugboat though. Do -do -do A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose? He hands you some money. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Okay. Um. Tab. Cabin. I haven't read this yet. Okay, now I'm reading that. Pursuits? Oh, okay. These are all my, my quests. Okay. I'm um, to catch a gold flounder and a gray eel. Okay. Encyclopedia. Oh! Ooh! The creepy versions. Ooh, there's three of... There's three versions of each of these. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We have to find the creepies. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got that bottle. There's 12 of them? Oh, snap. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Morrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Water. Ooh. Someone didn't do something right and they got screwed over. Um, okay. So now I can undock. And I should be able to fish these guys up now. 
Yeah! Let's go! A go flounder, let's go! We'll get one more. You're an awkward looking thing. Okay. Now we gotta find the eel. Question is, where are they? They're supposed to be shallow too, but that looks like the same thing as over here. Maybe they're on the other side. Doot, doot. I'm so slow. I need more speed. Okay, that's just more of these guys. Eels, hello. Ooh, are you the eels? I think you're the eels. Eels? Yeah, let's go. Ooh, a gray eel. Take you right there. Yeah, trophy eel, let's go. Uh, we'll catch one more. I appreciate that the fishing game in this isn't that hard. <laughs> like, I appreciate that. Cause, as someone who sucks at fishing, it makes me feel like I'm capable. <laughs> Toot toot! Catch some more these mackerels. Oh, it's depleted. Aw. Okay. Womp womp. Okay. Let's go! Have you got. Any fish for that order? Yes. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll take the order on ice and I'll keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. Okay. So I'm gonna give him this guy. I'm gonna give him this guy. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black roper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Um, okay. Lousy weather lately almost makes you not want to get out of bed, but you and I, we got to do it, eh? We're what keeps people from going hungry. That's right, sir. You and I, together. Okay. I've got $8.80 remaining of uh, payment. Okay, storage. I'm going to put this in here for now because I don't know what I need to do with it. <laughs> How much are these? A hundred? I want more speed, so we'll get we'll get one of these. Okay. And then we'll go to sleep. Sleepy time! Does the mayor have anything new to say? I'd like to pay off some of my debt. Of course, how much would you like to pay? All of it. Fantastic. Now, what else can I do for you? I should get back to fishing. Okay. Yay! We're not in debt no more. Let's go. Doot doot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Time to go fishing. A dream most of us will never realize. Same, big, same. <laughs> Feels like you just beat the game, right? That was, I feel like I'm, I, I'm on end game content now. 
The dad was was the was the real game. <laughs> I did it. All right, game, the stream's over, you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Lou, hi. How have you been? I didn't hear from you, so I didn't know if you wanted to play 14 last weekend. I'm sorry. You're a paladin now? Hell yeah, let's go. See if I can find some, if I can find some pods. Woo! Giga chat paladin, let's go! I mean, paladin is basically just a blue healer. Let's be honest here, guys. <laughs> Blue mackerel. And I could probably get one cod. High fives and samurai warrior. <laughs> okay. There we go. Toot toot. <clears throat> Alley cat. Hey. Oh, uh, thank you for the bits. How are you? Oh yeah, float. How was prom? Oh yay, head pats. Thank you for the head pats. The mayor is walking towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. It was poo poo. Oh no, what happened? Who do we have to fight? Who do I have to sick Tom on? The pat squished my hat. <laughs> Who do I got a sick Tom on? Fantastic news. Thanks, Pot Latio. F, it's great tomorrow's growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. Hmm. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to extend our facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. All oh, of the DJ sucked? Ooh. That's a bummer. A shitty DJ sucks, man. Aw, I'm sorry, Flo. I'm sorry they fucked up your prom experience. That sucks, man. I've also I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger services. You might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Okay, dry dog, let's go. This is the dry dock. We can make a significant improvement to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, even superior holes. Yeah, I can play tomorrow. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get them? There's plenty of decent material around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay. Okay, this is the stuff that I can't do yet. Um. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta sell my fish. Um. If you're ever hunting for a specific species, check your encyclopedia. It could have the information you need. Okay, sell my fishies! Squid man in a raincoat casually tips hat to you. <laughs> uh, okay, shipwreck. I got 146 bucks. Uh, I can't do anything. I've already got that. Okay, I'm gonna get a bulb because we need a light. I have a feeling weird stuff is just gonna suddenly move in. Yeah. It's gonna happen at some point. I just can't remember when it starts. I just know it starts. <laughs> okay. Toot toot. Let's -a go. We got to catch the fishies. Does the squid only come out at night? They said. And there was something else I needed. Hold on. Tab, cabin, suit. A black grouper. Oh, they both only come out at night. Okay. 
Okay. So, I'm just chilling. Yeah, because see, it says aberrations. That That's the creepy fishies. So, at some point, there's going to be creepy fishies. <clears throat> Is there any blood? Don't worry, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Oh, there's a there's another bottle. Ooh, I want to read this. Oh, this comes before this one. Okay. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets of the back at the back of the Great Morrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. Ooh, ooh. I thought you would want his hands on the rods. On your honeymoon. <laughs> Hang on those rods, boys. <laughs> <clears throat> He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Oh, and then they 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 hit a rock because she 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 kept something. She broke the she cursed the boat. He should have kept his hands on the rods, man. That's what happens when you don't hold the rod. Okay. Doot, doot. Can I fish you? Hey yo, Mercad, let's go. <laughs> what happened to the bonk redeem? I never had a bonk. <laughs> oh, this spot's depleted. Okay, it's five. It's six. Okay. Some of the fish vanished, so it must be nighttime now. So we must be able to get the night fishy. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Woo! Got one of those. We got two of those. Okay, and then we need one more thing. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. Um, a good mount? Um, if you don't want to buy it, your best bet is to do the the beast tribes. It'll take a couple of weeks, but they have, they have some cool mounts you can get with um, the tribal currency. And then you can also buy certain mounts off of the market board, but they're usually pretty expensive. All creatures, human or other- okay. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. Oh, the Rathalos one? Yeah, I never got that one either. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Damn, that was poetic. Hello. Okay, I need to find the other guys. Is it these guys? Yes! Okay, here we go. We can get one more. Actually, we can get one more. There we go. <laughs> hi, hi, ruler. 
I love my mana ray I got from the Kojin. I think my favorite mount is the Fire Yeti from Eureka. I fucking love my Fire Yeti. I have it on my Lily Girl. Freaking love that thing. <laughs> it's so derpy. <laughs> I love the way it derps when it walks. It's like derp, 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 derp. <laughs> it's freaking great. Okay. Have you got any fish for that order? Yes. Um. Okay, we've got... Oh, I needed two of them. It's a good thing I got more than one. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. I didn't think you, you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. Ooh. All right, high ruler. The motorcycle. Oh, yeah. The motorcycle is great when you're in a starting zone because it's faster than the other mounts. I always use my motorcycle when I'm starting a zone because it's faster than the regular mount. I got one here for you. In fact, it's a bit banged up, but it sh you could get it fixed at the ship, right? Okay. Vroom, vroom, baby. Should be pretty straightforward. Drop it out at sea anywhere and then come back after a day or two to check on it. Okay. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Okay. Um, I've got fishies for you. Thank you. Um, looks like some of your equipment can use. I can repair that here. R. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um, can't really get anything else right now. Okay. Uh, I'm asleep. That eyeball was was going around pretty pretty hectically. It was like. <laughs> <clears throat> the the motorcycle it's on the mock station or the online store you can get it there <clears throat> excuse me okay does the miner have anything new to say no okay um Select the crab, bot, crab pot ability with E and deploy with click. They catch things over time, but need repairing every so often. Okay. Okay, it says there's plenty here, so I guess... Whee! Hey, yo. Okay, it says something about the book. A hefty tome and labor laborious read. It goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce the impacts of fishing upon fishing fish stocks. Mentions something about ensuring a healthy ecosystem for future generations. Ten percent chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Ooh, ooh, fancy. And we got more. We got more fishies. Okay. Let's let's get some fishies. Whoa! There it is! Creepy fishy, let's go! Look at that thing! Grotesque mackerel! <laughs> it's a thing of beauty, ain't it? <laughs> Oh shit, son. Ooh, I wonder if the cod, if we can get the creepy cod. It has flavor text? Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've ever seen before. Ooh. <laughs> That's awesome. I wonder if now I can get all of the creepies from these guys. Can I get creepies from you? Oh. Nope. Shit. Okay. No! <laughs> that one's a little a little harder. Mm -hmm. 
I want more creepies! Where are the creepers? I want the creepy fishies! Why do I get the feeling Cthulhu's involved in this? Ooh, maybe it is Cthulhu. Oh, here we go. Come on, creepy fishies! Come on, creepy fishy, let's go! Nope. Rip. Okay. Let's take these back. Something something corruption, something something squid daddy. <laughs> you know, when there's creepy fish involved, it, there's probably squid daddy too. Have you heard about our lord and savior Cthulhu? That's what I tell Guy as I fight for every time he asks me. I tell him I fight for Cthulhu. Uh, fishmonger. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep stuttering breath. Dude, is he gonna get off on this? I mean, I know you're weird, man, but dude, take that to the next room. I don't want to see it. I worship Todd Toad Scroll. <laughs> oh. ah, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Sir, please go in the other room. I do not need to see this. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish as though feeling for something. Sir, I don't want to wash. <laughs> he pushes from one side of its stomach and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. Sir, please! Why do I have to watch? He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts. So I'm sure you'll find more before long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Dude, I do not want to know what's in your bedroom. <laughs> I'll now proceed to pleasure myself with this fish. Please, sir, do it in the other room. I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> like, goddamn, sir. What the fuck? Hello? C could you not knock on my door? A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not he. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out this bay, cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Okay, sir. Salute. Um. I guess, I guess we're gonna go over there. I don't want to anger the man in the shadow. <laughs> Probably Cthulhu's disciple or some shit. Okay, and then it said go, it's probably, oh, it's that house probably. Oh, I see that eyeball. I see that eyeball about ready to peek open. <sighs> okay. Okay. Woo! <laughs> <clears throat> the man is standing in a doorway watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbon. Pain. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truth, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector, 
He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. <sighs> These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you... Um... Where do you... I know you've... Uh, is it Seasonal Miscellany? It might be Seasonal Miscellany. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in dark depths. Oh, so this is how I get that. Okay. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. Dude, I don't need a blowjob. I mean, not, not unless you're going to take me to dinner first. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. Um, I'll have to look tomorrow, Float. I don't remember off the top of my head. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return. Oh, excuse me. Return when you have something. Okay, I'm gonna sneak into your workshop, sir. The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. You enter, taking a moment to let your eyes adjust to the dim light. What do you want to do in here? Ooh, pick up items. You find some horrifying creations amongst the, det the detritus? What? The bony blades of this grotesque engine are, dry are driven by a pulsing heart? It beats in time with your own? Oh! Oh! Oh, that's oh, that's that's wrong, sir. That is so wrong, <laughs> dude. A symbol of the deep is carved into the small talisman. It's sure to draw the attention of those attuned to it. What? <laughs> okay, I'm taking the talisman. I don't want that fucking heart thing though. The fuck that shit. Because this goes 10, that goes 14, this only goes 7. I mean, it's a heart. It can't go very fast. <laughs> that's just, that's so, that's so nasty. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs> part of the ship, part of the crew. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um... Question. Okay. <laughs> I was like, how do I get out of there without hurting myself? Unblinking eyes borrowed from a larger being, but not the mind to process what it sees. What? <laughs> Hundred years before the mast. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Okay, I can't get to you. Oh, you know what? I bet you I can go with that spot that was over here. Is it over here that I saw it? That gold sparkle. I think it was over here. I want mine with anchovies pizza, mommy. <laughs> Not gonna ban you, Viking. <laughs> okay, this thing is, is giving me gold. I think this is, okay, dredge. Start dredging. 
Holy shit! A gold, a bronze belt buckle. Okay. Um. Ooh. Oh shit. Okay. Hey yo. Uh, metal scraps. Okay, these are for the researching. I know that. Okay. What's over here? Shapes in the deep. And an old iron chain. Okay. Something sparkly over there. What is that? What is that? <clears throat> what are you? Oh, whatever you were, you're gone now. All right. Um, tomorrow we're, I'm doing my second core keeper collab with the, with Uncle Goose and Catmander and Katasha and Neapolitan and Sakura. We are going to commence more chaos. Fishies. It's great. You're making a new Abby? Ooh! I wanna see. I've missed you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see you. Oh. Oh, we got we got people. Hold on. What? Okay. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Hmm. There's a spot near the back of Great Morrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. Can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, best you just move on. What do you think I'm looking for, lady? I just got here. <laughs> I'm just looking for some damn fish and some, and some wood. <laughs> Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. <laughs> she must have liked that egg. <laughs> Hi, Raspberry. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Mm -hmm. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fox tricks? Who lives on Blackstone Isle? Mm -hmm. I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. That ill-fated boat return? Are you talking about me? Return? Have I been here before? What if the lighthouse keeper is the woman who kept the trinket on the boat that we think crashed? Ooh, maybe. Oh, and the old boat is her old boat? Ooh, maybe. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. 
Which windows? What the hell? I'm I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna go talk to the fishmonger over here. Um, ah! <laughs> it's ghost. Okay, we got we got one guy. That's all I got for now. All right, come back when you have everything now. Regular business. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Ooh, a new book. Uh, hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Look at this thing! Look at this! Look at this fish! Staring outwards, unblinking, eyes borrowed from a larger being, but not the mind to process what it sees. <laughs> it's so creepy! <laughs> I shall sell it. <laughs> okay, um... We finally got things for the... Okay. You can store whatever you have. Okay. Um... What should be our priority? More fishing spots? Like fishing places? A net space? A better engine space? Or another light space? I feel like maybe the fishing rod? Or the engine? Whichever gives money. <laughs> I mean, probably the rod, because then we'd be able to get better fishing stuff. Um, modifies two cargo spaces to also hold rods. Okay, so I've only got something for that. Um... And we'll do this. Oh, I do have the thing for researching, don't I? I have that research spot. I have a research part. Ooh, okay. A flexible fishing pole that does coastal and shallow together. Or a hydraulic rod that does oceanic. Ooh. Which one to do first? I think I'm gonna do hydraulic rod. I'm gonna start that because it only needs one, um, one part, and we've only got one, so it makes sense. Yeah, I can buy that now. Hell yeah! Okay. Um, Jeff, I'll get to you in a second, builder. Um, they'll take you far away. Reliable too, provided you take care of them. Rusty overboard outboard. That's ten. No, this is better. Okay. Hydraulic rod. Oh, but that means I have to make a choice. Make a choice. Okay, we're gonna have to hold off on that. We're gonna have to find another research part. Because we're gonna need to get this bad boy. And then we can do these two together. And then I'll be able to do all the things. Um, let's talk to the builder. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's peaceful. It's difficult. I don't want to talk about it. Um, I mean, it's peaceful. Gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. It's not so bad here. I don't want to move along. I can't go back. What? What are these answers? Why am I answering like this? What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> it's, um... It's not so bad here. He's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move? I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. <laughs> all praise Cthulhu two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need oh I had the scrap mother mother boater okay I can make a new place for myself out there you'd be welcome to visit too just stack it up at steel point when you have anything I'll pay you when the job's done okay I'm gonna rest Truly Cthulhu style answers, vague and depressing. Right, Wobble? You'll get more, there's tons of racks. Yeah, I'm sure. 
I want to see if the lighthouse keeper has anything else. Okay, no, she doesn't. What can I do for you? Do you know of any strange occurrences? Yeah. Well, I heard that my counterpart in Lear Marrow met the most unfortunate end. They say he went quite mad suddenly. One day he was normal, the next he was pacing the shoreline, hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mayor is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included, and those that do remember don't seem to like talking about it. A most unpleasant subject. Now, what else can I do for you? Uh, do you know of any shipwrecks? Shipwrecks? Unfortunately, there have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps, but even it struggles to cut through the fog on some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear away any shipwrecks that occur around this side of the island. That should make fishing a bit easier for you. Yeah. Around the back, though, it's a little harder to get to. You know what I'm saying. There are still some wrecks toward the deeper patches. You'll want to avoid that area. Right? <laughs> I don't remember him. Let me tell you his entire backstory. <laughs> um, the light keeper didn't have anything, right? Oh, a new one. Yes. What do you know about the old mayor of Little Morrow? <sighs> that he's... I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engines sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh shit! Was that her hubby? Oh, I wonder if that was her hubby. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta check our crab pot. Crab pot! Hey, fiddler crab, let's go. Oh, I can't put you that way? Okay, I can put you that way. Um, one day remaining. Okay. Lighthouse keeper Vietnam vet confirmed. <laughs> okay. Wonder how the crabs get mutated? I don't know. Oh, that'd be interesting. That's the mackerel. Disturbed water. Hey, I caught a trophy. Let's go. Okay. I wonder if those sparklies that I saw means that they're that there's some creepies over there. Feeding off the corrupted scraps in the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle and especially in great- Oh, we found that! I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. I got it! Yeah! Hell yeah! You give the belt buckle to the man. This is... This is his! Oh, thank you! Bless you! You've returned him to me! Please, take this. I've not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to you. Hey, yo! Let's go! Hey, that worked out in our favor! Hell yeah! What do you know about any strange occurrences? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. It is. Right, though? Preemptively getting myself ready for the fetch quest, and then I don't have to go fetch it. <laughs> Begging anyone who would listen, howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you with? Throw it back. Interesting. Okay, trader. 
You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Ah. Hello? Is that? No. Ah, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. X for doubt? Why are they acting like they know me? Was I here before and I don't remember? Did they like fucking drug my ass or some shit? I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Oh, dunk to the untrained eye, but there's good metal here. Someone might pay for this. Ooh, let's go. Uh, sell. Okay. Uh, let's talk to the dock worker. How's the day treating you? Do you ever process shipments for Blackstone Isle? <sighs> that old ruin? Doubt it. Uh, let's see. He flicks through a large logbook. It appears to be a record of shipping manifests. Thought so. It doesn't even have a shipping address. As far as I know, nobody lives there. Ooh. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? It could be worse. You were here before and they don't remember? Ooh, maybe. I know there were a few around the eastern side of the island, mostly rotted away by now, I'd expect, or dashed apart by the waves. Poor souls keep hitting rocks in the fog, I guess. There's a blind spot back there where the lighthouse can't be seen. People get turned around. What do you know about any strange occurrences? Hmm. I overheard a tale in the tavern some years ago. Sounded pretty strange to me. Supposedly, some 20-odd years ago, a fisherman from these parts hauled up an old sealed casket from the sea floor? Wait, wait, what? Supposedly, some 20-odd years ago, a fisherman from these parts hauled up an old sealed casket from the sea floor. They pried it open and took what was inside for themselves. That very night, the fog rolled in for the first time, and it has cloaked the seas every night since. What was in that accursed casket, nobody knows. All of the crew that laid eyes on its contents went mad or worse. The casket and crew have since disappeared without a trace, but the fog remained. Crazy stuff, huh? Yo! What if, oh, what if those letters? Oh, hold on. As changeable as the weather, ha, most days it's pretty quiet. The pay is not too great, but the work's straightforward. That suits me to a T. It's good to get that fresh sea breeze without actually being on the water. No offense, but you wouldn't get me out on those seas every day. Um, that's it. Throw it back. Oh, maybe the mayor was on that boat. Oh. Maybe the mayor was on the boat. Dude, oh, the guy, the guy that were that gave us the shit. The relics. Maybe he was on the boat. Maybe that's why he wants us to get the relics. Because they're like they're they're from the boat. But I was, I was also thinking, cause, ooh, another book. Um, the messages, they're 1927. And they were talking about the accident. And they said that it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard. So that could also be what the guy is looking for is the stuff that this boat lost. So like maybe he's like the son of the dude that she was married to and maybe it was his boat that found the casket and then like he like he went crazy and she ended up like having him and they ended up growing up in one of the Maros until he discovered the truth. I don't know. I don't know how to tell. Return the slab. <laughs> Uh, map. Oh, map. Uh, there's an X there, and there's an X there. Oh, I guess one of the thing, one of the relics is over there. Pursuit. Search for relics. 
find the key, find the music box, find the ring, find the necklace, find the watch. Uh oh, so the key is, is around here somewhere. Uh, two lumber, two scrap, a common crab and a fiddler crab. We have the fiddler crab now. Uh, we've got some of the creepy pastas. We got a grotesque mackerel. Uh, got a cod. There it is, all seeing cod. I wonder if there is a way to find out what the date is. It doesn't give you anything that tells you what the, it just says Sunday. So I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. Does the grieving father say anything else now? No. Okay. Um. Let's go. I want to try to find the key. I think they said it was. Oh, you know what? I have a thought. You remember that red that red light that was around at night? I wonder if that's telling you where the relics are. Ooh, sparkly. Sparkly. I want sparkly. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind a distended rib cage. The rest of the fish has withered and drained. Yo! I guess so. I the sparkles must mean that there's a creepy. So we're gonna have to look for sparkles. So we can get the creepy the creepy fishies. Ooh. All that's left off this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. <gasps> Ooh! Hello! Wood? That's what we needed. We needed some wood. And this. And a thing to sell to the trinket guy. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna have to look for the key tomorrow. <laughs> I found some good shit. <laughs> Okay, I gotta be careful though. I don't want to hit the rocks. Hitting rocks is a is a bad thing. <laughs> we don't need to drown. Okay. Dude, that's so cool. Okay, nothing yet. Fishmonger. Yes. Hmm. Fiddler crab. The fishmonger wraps up the crabs and hands you some money. These will do. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair damaged ones at the shipyard. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? They get sick, they go mad, nothing. They probably go fucking crazy. <clears throat> well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish, any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. What? What? Why? Dude. First you're like getting off on them and now you want to eat one? Ew. Yeah, I've got one. I suspect they're all the same underneath. All right, there you go. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, bringing his hands around its slimy body. Mm. Yes, 
This should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these too? They're of no use to me. Ooh, research part. I'll take that though. Hmm? Do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature quickly now. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, there you go, sir. The fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scrapping of a metal bar sliding across it? Oh, he's dead. He's fucking dead. <laughs> Uh, anything new for you? No. Anything new for this guy? Uh, no. Okay. Storage. Oh no, we can do research. Hey yo, let's go. We can get the, oh, we can get this. Yeah. Okay. So now we get anti-tangle line or heat resistant line. Um, this is coastal and shallow. Um, I feel like we're not going to go anywhere with volcanoes anytime soon. So I'm going to go here. Hey, yo. Let's go. Oh, do I need to? I have to unlock that one too to get this. Ooh, and that catches all of them. Nice. It has begun the downward spiral. Yes, the creepy has started. <laughs> Hi, King. Okay, um. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sleep it off. We're just gonna sleep off whatever happened with that old man. <laughs> but did you see that red light back there? I wonder if that's where the key is. Like, I wonder if these relics are like cursed relics and the, the light shows you where they are. The guy who handles food for the town is gonna lose it. This won't be good, yeah. Is he still? The fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Now I can't sell anything! God damn it! <laughs> okay, you got anything new for me? No. You got anything new for me? No. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, we're gonna undock. Um, where was the thingy? Oh, I gotta fix this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that in there for right now. Since I can't fish for anything, I don't have anybody to buy them. I wonder if the builder becomes the new fish seller. Like if we build her house, she becomes like the next vendor that we can sell fish to. I wonder if that's how this is gonna work. Uh, let's go to the trader. Found anything special? A gold ring clasping a glowing citrine. Ooh. Um. There we go. Um. Uh, let's see. Anything new for you? No. Anything new with you? No. Okay. All right. Well. Okay, where was the island that she was talking about? I'm guessing it's this one right here. So I just gotta kind of cut diagonal. Oh no, that's... No, Blackstone Isle is right there. So I gotta go in the other direction. it's this one right here 
Toot toot. I'm Cal the Red Panda. I got a little tugboat. I'm looking for a dock so I can build a house. Cal the Red Panda Sailor. <laughs> Ooh, are you a you're a you're a you're a thing. Get you. Shapes in the deep. Okay, here we go. Ah shit! Okay. Hey, I did it! Okay. Whee! <laughs> I don't claim to be a lyricist, okay? <laughs> uh, material pile. Okay, this is the place. Okay, cool. Uh, two wood thingies. And then we need to get two metal thingies. Okay. It looks like there's some dredging spots right here. As much as I want it, I, 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 I want metal more. Oh, what's this? Ooh, cloth. go sleep on this at this dock right here since it's too late to go to the other place and then I never wake up no <laughs> nice hat thank you king I'm a sailor okay I want to see if I can find the metal. It looks like there's a couple of dredge spots left. So we'll go check them out. Ooh! Our book is done. A hefty tome. No, we already did that. Straightforward, simple techniques on operating fishing equipment more effectively. Not much I didn't already know, though. Rods will wheel fish in 10% more effectively. Ooh! Oh, look at that thing! Oh, snap! It's so creepy looking! Okay. Don't sleep in odd places. I have to! Okay. Metal? Yes! Exactly what we needed. Shit, I don't have enough room for one more. Rip. That's okay though. We're gonna go finish this quest. Toot toot! Okay. Here you pile. Scrappy things. Scrappy things. You've delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. Okay. Um, uh, I'm Doc. Actually, I'm gonna go get that last metal spot. I 
I know I gotta get a I gotta get a bigger boat. But I'm gonna need a lot of uh a lot of these parts. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> Famous last words right there. <laughs> toot, toot. Here is 50 bits. Now buy yourself a better boat. Just kidding. I know there is no pay to win in this game. I lied. I know nothing about this game. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, I ruler. <laughs> oh shit, it's getting dark. Oh god, my eyeballs coming out. And there's creepies and I can't get them cuz there's no You know what? I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Oh no, if I can hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Give me creepy. Yes! Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta do some, uh, we gotta do some, uh, uh, we gotta do something. <laughs> um. Oh no! I don't have room! You know what? We're gonna. I'm giving up. I'm giving up a scrap for creepy fishy. Okay, let's get let's get to the fucking top. Ah! <laughs> let's -a go. Okay, please be open. Yes! Ugh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? An unknown green energy arcs and crackles over this fish's scales. It thrashes ceaselessly, even after after being pulled from the water. He has a blinding headache too. Oh my gosh, okay. You can have that fishy. And I'm gonna go to the dry dock. Um, needed cloth and needed wood. Ooh, yay! Okay. And then this one, I only needed one of those, but we need more wood. Okay. Okay. Um. Is there anything that requires cloth? This. Okay. Is it right? Ooh. Let's see. Sorry, sorry, it's a mess in here. I've just been so busy lately. You know how it is. Exhausting. Okay. So, this is mangrove and coastal. This is shallow. This is coastal and shallow. Oh yeah, this was shallow. This was coastal. Okay, so we can sell these. And then we can get this guy. <gasps> I can't get him? No! What? Sucks. Son of a biscuit. Oh, the room. That's right. I forgot. I had that. Okay. This is this is fine. This is fine. Um, we'll put this to storage. Um, okay. So we can get it. Okay. There we go. Thank you, Viking. I totally forgot. You need to upgrade your spots. 
Yeah. Um, hydraulic rot. Oh, it's 410. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. We're gonna go fishing. In the morning. I'll come back to you in a second, lady. I'm not coming. I'm not get taking you nowhere in the in the middle of the night. Ah. You've done it. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Looking at the horizon with a field certainty. I guess I'm taking her with me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're fine. If I, I appreciate the help because I'm dense. <laughs> Okay, does Lighthouse, do you have anything new? No. Do you have anything new? No, damn it. I want them to have new things to talk about. Oh, I gotta pick up my, my Krabby Pot. And my Fiddler Crab. Uh, take off. Okay, her island was... Yeah, I'm a special kind of special. <laughs> oh, thank you for the bits, I ruler. Yo, dude, I can't wait to grab these guys. Like, grab me a shark. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take this lady to this place and then, you know, we'll see what happens with her. I'm still curious if she's going to become a vendor because why else would they have us build her a house? A <laughs> pizza roll. I'm a, I'm a hot pocket. <laughs> uh. Hot pocket. Yes, this will do. Thank you, fella. Oh, we have to unleash. Oh, we have to unleash Ultima. I totally forgot. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Complete. Unleash Ultima! <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Ooh, can you hydrate? Thank you. Hold on. Let me get me some water. Oh, yeah, that's what that does. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, head pats! Thank you for the head pats. Uh, give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. He reach, reaches into a toolbox, hands toolbox, hands out a handful of components. Oh hell yeah! Research parts. Let's go. Um, research. Now we can. Unlock this bad boy. <gasps> Ooh. This is all four at once. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, I guess we should, I should probably work on this too. Okay. Um, let's undock. I'm gonna go for that trinket over there. I didn't get it last time. Man, why are these ships so close to the edge of the... <laughs> Living on the edge. Ooh, a goblet. It's the goblet of fire. I found it, Harry. No living on the edge, that's how you fall off. Oh yeah, true. terrible at this. Okay. Fuck! Okay. <laughs> I got there eventually, you guys. It took a hot minute, but I got there. <laughs> okay. 
I wanna get one more. Can I get one more? Yeah, let's go. Big boys. Ah, uh, fudge monkers. I need to get back to the, I gotta get back across. It's dark. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh shit, there goes my eyeball. Oh fuck! <laughs> no big bullies. Oh god, it's getting harder to see. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, no, 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 where? Where am I going? I can't see, oh god, okay. Ah! No! You're not coming for me! No, fuck you! Fuck you, Whirlpool! I don't know what you are! No! No, 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 no! No, no, no! You can't have me! You can't have me! No! No, go away! Go away! Oh my god, the rock just came out of nowhere! What the fuck? <laughs> Take my fishy, sir. How much do you go for? $62. Ooh. Your eyes go bad at night. This is why you have a curfew. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, dry dock. Okay. Chip right. Uh -huh. Take a look through this book on the house. Ooh, a new book. Okay, now I should be able to get this. Yes. I have just enough. Let's go. Okay. Nothing to repair. Gonna gonna sleep. I need to try to figure out where that line is coming from. Like, right there. Um, storage. We're going to store this stuff right now. We'll, we'll grab it later. Ah! <laughs> I'll hail the lamb! <laughs> you got anything new, lady? No, you don't. Okay. Oh, we do, we do have books, though. How do and we have Encyclopedia. Any new aberration? No. Okay. We need to look for creepy crawlies. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, we need creepy fishies and we need to... Uh, pick up. Back here real quick. Get this repaired real quick. Uh, enough to repair it? Yeah. Fifteen dollars. Hell yeah. Let's go. Okay. Plenty of crab. Whee! Okay. We need to go this way, I think. I want to see if I can find the, the key. I'm assuming it's going to be a dredge spot somewhere. I'm guessing it's where this X is, because that X is gone. That here, fishy, 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 fishy. Hi, Gray. Those lambs are so cute, aren't they? I love them. Tapes in the deep. Oh, cloth, though. I'll take that. Okay. Okay, so it's not 
here. Fishies go poop, poop, poop. <laughs> okay. Is it this thing right here? this but oh there's so oh it's red look there's a red thing i bet you that's it you see that red right there i bet you that's what it is i bet you it's this thing oh it is okay Shit, this thing is fucking huge! What? Why are you so big? What in the actual fuck, sir? but that's okay. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> oh god, the eyeball. Oh fuck. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. It's night time. Fuck! We will look at you tomorrow. Oh no. No, 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 no. Stay away from me. I don't know what you want. What? No! Light. Oh, God. There's rocks coming out of nowhere. What the actual F? What the fuck? I don't know what you are, but I don't want to know. Sorry. Okay. Oh my god. That bastard. <laughs> um, I need to repair. Yeah. Yeah. $30. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, you know what? Whatever. We just want to have a nice conversation under the water. <laughs> Marcus, no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay. I was just not ready for that. <laughs> okay, we need one thingy here. Uh, don't need anything here. Um, I am gonna need it for that though. Okay, so we will put you in storage. And tomorrow, I'm gonna sell these. And I'm gonna put this back on. Just because I'm really curious what happens. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to sleep. <laughs> K. 
Cal almost had a game over. It's okay. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, we gotta go talk to a uh, Cthulhu Disciple guy over there. Catch another Fiddler Crab, let's go. I believe the room lets you see the glowing green spots. Oh, maybe. Maybe that's why we haven't been seeing the sparkles because we didn't have that on. Tay, this is called Dredge. It's like a fishing game, but it's got like some creepy, like, creepy elements to it. It's really cool. All right, let's talk to this dude. You went to the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Yeah, exactly, Viking. Horror fishing, right, Muffin? <laughs> well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now seem, somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? I fucking knew it! They're fucking cursed! He's a fucking Cthulhu disciple, right? Right here, right here. He's the cult. <laughs> He's making me join the cult! Hi, Spara! I'm good! We're fishing for creepy fishies. And apparently we're getting indoctrinated into the cult of Cthulhu. Um... Hmm. Is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travel. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Now go, we have more relics to uncover. What? What? My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. We're playing Dredge. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. What the fuck did you just do to me? <sighs> the book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? <clears throat> it's D-R-E-D-G-E. -E. Thank you, High Ruler. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however. It may put a great deal of stress on your engine. <sighs> are there other powers you wish to know more about? There's other powers? What? I asked him how long he's lived here, right? Hmm. Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before. But two decades ago, I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavors. Maybe he's not the fa maybe he's not the son of the d of the dude that owned the bill. Maybe he's the son of the mayor. Because the mayor went crazy 20 years ago, right? Two decades, 20 years. Yeah. He must be the son of one of someone from that boat. And that's why he's looking for the relics. This is all the shit that came from that casket, I bet you. Mirror, mirror, who is the most beautiful chaos being in the world? <laughs> you need the power to slow the clock down, right? Can I have the power over time, sir? Okay, he must... Ooh, stretch, thank you. He must be the son of one of the guys on the boat, and the boat must have crashed, and all of the things that were in the casket got scattered, and this guy's looking for it all. Because he's, like, become obsessed. Hello, Hire! I, f 
found that this island has a certain strength to it. Helen! Yay! Thank you for the resub! Eight months! Oh my gosh, thank you so much! I appreciate it, thank you so much! I want the power over my metabolism, girl, same! Fucking mood right there! <laughs> All the sweets and never gain weight. No, let me have all of the nice pasta. Let me have all of the Alfredo I can eat and never gain weight. <laughs> uh, those dark basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. Anything else? No. Okay. I'm gonna go now. Haste adds speed to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat. Select E and use it by holding... What? What? Imbue your engines with otherworldly speed. Beware of overheating. And use it by holding... Knock, knock. Okay, who's there? Doo -doo. Ah! Yo! Door? Door who? DoorDash? 10% off your order at DoorDash? Okay. Welcome. Found anything special lately? Let's sell. Ooh, $60 worth. Nice. Um, you got anything new to say? No, okay. Nope, wrong thing. I adore you, keep in mind this is a joke. Ah! That's cute, that's a cute one, actually. I like that, that's cute. All right, um. Two, two, motherfuckers, let's go! Oh shit. <laughs> okay. So it has like a little gauge that you have to like, ah! <laughs> Hi, Jay. <laughs> do, do, motherfucker. Okay. Um. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Mm. Oh, it's you. Who were you expecting? Your engine, it sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. <gasps> the mayor! The mayor must have had this! Drive by bonking? Oh no! <laughs> Dude, the, it must have been the mayor's boat! Okay, so... Dredge is a fishing game, but it also has like a creepy. Ah! It has creepy elements to it, and there's like this mystery going on. Ah! <laughs> ah! Um. <laughs> to um explain why the fishies are creepy. Ah! <laughs> so there's a dude who wants us to collect. Ah! I'm trying to explain things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what about like the ability to control your body systems in general could give your brain dopamine when you need to focus? Dude, that'd be cool! Kami-san, thank you so much for the follow! I appreciate it, thank you! Thank you so much! Um, but Spara, so... The mystery right now is that there's these, there's like these creepy fishies and they do something. We don't know. The, the fish seller ate one and then he got a headache, but I don't know if anything's going to happen to him. We haven't, he hasn't done anything else since then. And this lady was, and the mayor was telling us about the mayor of another town. And 20 years ago, he went crazy and started like yelling, throw it back, throw it back. And like throwing everybody's stuff back into the ocean, right? And then he vanished. And then there's these letters about 
this woman and her and her husband on a boat and i'm wondering if she's the lady who wrote the letters and the husband is the mayor and they're the ones that found the casket that caused the fog and that dude that we're getting the relics for is the son of of one of the crew members and he's collecting the relics for something i don't know maybe to like destroy them maybe to like try to stop the fog by like throwing them back i don't know maybe he wants to just like praise cthulhu or some shit i don't know but that's my theory right now now that she's talking about how it's like an old friend and the and the engine didn't sound like that until we got haste which looks like it's a nasty cthulhu spell <laughs> yo <laughs> fish pizza yeah exactly <laughs> Um, we have research parts, right? No, we don't. I used up all those. Uh, dry dog. I need to get wood. Um, let's undock. Let's see if we can't get. No explaining. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and we can get the ocean fishies now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There was like sharkies over here somewhere. I want to get the sharkies. I clipped it. Nice. Is it not? Can you not sell it? Or can you not buy it? Okay. Ooh, a bronze whaler. Hello. Um, sir, hold on. Just wait right there, sir. Uno momento, por favor. Um, there we go. I don't think I'm going to be able to stick another one anywhere. Okay, I could put you there. Now, you're a, you're a big boy. Probably best there. You probably do a cod and like something else. I don't I'm not gonna be able to do a second I'm not gonna be able to do a second shark. Not not this particular shark at least. But we can get some cod. Oh wait, what are you? Oh you're mackerel. We can get some of you. Sparkles. Give me creepy. Come on. Nope. Give me creepy. Yeah, there we go. Bladed eel. Oh, shit! Gotta go! Gotta go! <laughs> gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now! Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! <laughs> okay, at least I was close to the dog. I'm ready for some sushi. Bark for her pleasure! <laughs> Muffin, oh my god! <laughs> choo choo, motherfucker! <laughs> Okay, a spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. Oh my. <laughs> Beautifully colored, but deadly. Uh, practically worthless, but enough to stave off hunger. You know what? Whatever. 
buy the fishies. Ooh, $204 though. Very nice, very nice. Um, do you have anything new to tell? What's with the fog around here? Ooh, new. Nobody knows. It changed recently. It lingers in the mornings now, where before it didn't seem to have the strength. Even in the midday sun, I feel it. A malice concealed in shadows, waiting for night to sweep the island. He glances up at the lighthouse. <gasps> if this light should ever falter, then gods help us. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go sleep, because my eyeballs telling me to go to sleep. I don't think Barb has ever been for her benefit. <laughs> Anything new today? No, okay. Um... We don't have any research parts, right? No. And I do need, need to get one. I wonder if, oh, that's tab. Oh, we have map, okay. Oh, so we gotta go over there. Okay, I'm gonna definitely have to upgrade my engine so I can go there. Encyclopedia. We got the new creepy creepy. Hell yeah. Okay, we gotta find some dredge spots. Just because it's not for you doesn't mean it's not for someone. <laughs> oh my god, love it. <laughs> Okay, we gotta find some dredge spots. Let's find some, let's find some, some spots. Oh, I think that's one right there. Yeah, tapes in the deep. A worn gold ring. Gold always holds its value. Ooh. Okay. No things I don't drink. No, I've got kiddo at home. I don't drink when kiddo's at home. Ooh. As much as I want that, I I need to get materials. I need dredge spots. Dredgy, 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 dredge. Uh, you're just fishies. <gasps> That's a new fishy, though. Oh, new fishy. Okay, okay. I'm going for you because you're new. Sailfish. Sail! Ooh! Sail! Hold on. Stay there, please. Uno momento. Por favor. Um. <laughs> I okay, I love Sail Cat. Sail Cat is the every time I see that that Sail Cat video, I laugh my ass off. I cannot stop laughing every time I see it. Okay, I want to see what this black rock is. That fish is boat size. Yeah, it basically takes up my whole boat. <laughs> Okay, I want to see what this is. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. I wonder when it does, or how it does. And there was a thing over here. Oh, wait. Ooh, did we, is this the thing we saw already? 
see this already? Yeah, I saw that already. There's this thing over here. Try to say Anita Lava Latina. <laughs> First of God. Wait, okay, so I want to see what this is. A slab of rock juts from the water bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. That looks like a cod. So it wants... It wants some cods? Okay, we'll get that tomorrow. A sacrifice? Okay, let's go. Oh god. It's my time! Oh. Okay, fishmonger. Don't overcommit yourself, especially when that sun starts to go down. Better to come back with a small cash than not come back at all. What, how much do you sell for? 122, hell yeah! You sell for 27, okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Let me give it a bunch. Um, I'm gonna go sleep. Oh look, you guys, look, the, the red light is gone. I was right. The red light was marking where that relic was. Ooh, the plot thickens. Okay. We need to get some cod. Oh, baby crab. Baby crabby. Um, I guess I should just take you because you're about to break anyways. Um, the cod were right here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how many it needs, though. Well, I guess we'll find out. I'll bring in, like, three, and we'll see. Ah, shit. Okay. Whatever. Alright, it was over here? Be my sugar mama? <laughs> Woo! Okay. Oh, there's a dredge spot right here, too. Here. Ooh, metal parts. Okay, I'll come back for you. I've got... I've got a, an altar that wants fish. Okay, here it is. Oh, it's got like a creepy sound coming from it. Okay. Oh, you need way more than three. I need two more. Ooh! I almost hurt my hole. Are you... Are you pods? No. Wait. Oh no, I don't know what you are. I've already... I've already had before. Oh, but I need... Cal's only a sugar mama in the sense of being sweet. <laughs> Stingrays? I don't know, but I need these more. Because we can't do anything until I can unlock more parts. Okay. Probably... Two... It looked like it needed two more, right? Two more pods? Oh 
shit, it's nighttime. Fuck! Let's go. Nope, not worth it. You know what? Not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it! <laughs> We're just gonna, we're just gonna, no, nope, we'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> we'll sell these two cod and we'll get two more tomorrow. <laughs> we'll just get two more in the morning. <laughs> um, ship right. Repair. Dry dock. Uh, scary things happen at night. <laughs> Something... Ah! <laughs> there is, like, some ghost ship, I think, chasing me, because I heard it. I heard it honk. And then, like, my screen went red. So, I think it was coming for me. Okay. One scrap part for you. Um... Okay, so I'll put you in storage. Because I don't need you right now, but I will need you eventually. Okay, go to sleep. I'm afraid of the dark, man. <laughs> Although I am really curious about what happens if you stay up. Like, I'm kind of tempted, but I don't know how much I would lose, like, progress-wise. Okay. Um... Let's go get to those... Don't be afraid of the dark, be afraid of what's in the dark. Exactly! Alright, let's go find a few more cod. Tiny, your map rolls. Okay. There's only one thing of wood. Rip. Okay. Well, you know what? One's better than nothing. What we afraid about is what the dark brings. Cannot see very well. No light. Is like walking with closed eyes. Yeah. <laughs> now imagine when water were sharks. Yeah, I don't need to be eaten by a shark. Okay. Where? Okay, here it is. Okay, so two more. A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the rotter recedes, you notice something has lodged against the rock. A sinew spindle? A handline reel wrapped in a length of stretchy sinew. One end is grafted to a crude bone hook. I do not have the facial expression on this model to show the face that I am showing in real life. Fishing speed, 50%. This thing doesn't even give me good fishing speed. That's so nasty. <laughs> you can return to these items later. Okay. I'm gonna leave that there. <laughs> I'm gonna back away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off this way. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> I mean, I can come back for it. Um, would I have enough room for you? Well, 
out. We'll find out. <gasps> Blood skin shark. Ooh, that looks nasty. Okay, we gotta find a we gotta find a way to get you in here. How do we get you in here? Um, hold on, stay right there, sir. There we go. Tendons and sinews stretch over the fins of this bloody predator. Powerful jaws are clad in exposed muscle. Ew! I wonder if this is what made that that fishing hook. Is made from this guy. Be right back. Going to Taco Bell. <laughs> oh man. Ohio Sharky. <laughs> All right, let's let's put some of this stuff away. Okay, let's go to the fishmonger. Let's sell the fish. You need to be placed down. I'll do that in a second. Um, you only need one wood, so we'll take care of it. Purchase upgrade. Okay, cool. Two engine spaces! Hey yo, let's go! Um, let's see. Engine. Oh, but I don't have better engines yet. But, but, hold on. If I do this. I do this, then I can buy one of these for right now and do that. Yeah! Let's go! Oceanic. Oceanic, I already have you. Okay. Uh, let's go to sleep. Speedy! I'm speedy! I'm so speedy! You got anything new, lady? No. Okay. All right. Now Cal's boat only does circles. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine if that's what it actually did? Ooh. Much faster. Ooh, toot toot, motherfuckers! Let's go! Yo, look how fast I go now. Yo. Okay, where was that stingray? It was over here somewhere, right? And I'm not even using my cursed my cursed ability. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure I found this before. Yeah. Okay. This is the flounder. A pathetic, cowardly, bottom-dwelling fish. Wow. Yo! Do you see that? There's a boat over there! Toot toot! Let's go! Okay, don't want to wake up my eyeball. <laughs> they saw a little mermaid and said, Flounder is coward. <laughs> You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peek at, peer out at you. Who goes there? Uh, fisherman? Mm. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I am very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Morrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these d deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. I, it would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shadows. Or for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. Ooh, Leviathan is here. Am I going to get to do a party finder? I could deliver the package for you. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. Addressed to the dock worker at Little Morrow. It's dense, damp, and very sticky. Ew! 
Yeah, that must be what was hunting us was or haunting us is a leviathan. Yeah. Oh. Large package, damp and sticky. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Morrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Oh no! Now I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods, don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Again, an item emerges from the door hole. This time a book is pushed through and thuds onto the deck below. Pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. What? Why does why does he want to re why does he why is everybody trying to eat this shit? I don't understand. Okay, we're gonna have to come back here. Where's the lighthouse? I'm I'm lost. Okay, there we go. What dead thing? I don't know. I think he gave. I, I'm, I'm thinking it's the uh, cursed fishy because it's down. They were talking about the faintest whisper, and that's what the fishmonger said when we gave him his creepy fishy to eat. He was talking about there was the faintest of whispering, but we couldn't hear it. And then he like went crazy and he was like, get out, get out. And then, then like two days later, he came back and he was like, man, I have a blinding headache. Oh, man. How's the day treating you? I've got a package here for you. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you or compensation. What? What the fuck? Oh, I do have a trinket. Sell that. Only 15 bucks, but whatever. Undock. Since I'm here, might as well get some more fish. Very sus, y'all. your day going? Or I guess your night. How's your night going? Oh, there's a cursed fishy here! Budge! Okay, we're gonna go for cursed fishy. Oh, snap! That's nasty looking! What the fuck? Tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellowed crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars? Oh, nasty! Just finished playing with a friend on XI. Nice! It's really cool. It's uh, it's very calm. It's like chill, but it's also very creepy. It's really cool. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Before fucking Leviathan comes for me. We gotta go back tomorrow and see if the dock worker's there. Uh, let's see. Sell all fish. Yeah! Oh, I gotta put that- I gotta put that back in. I keep forgetting. Um... Can't buy any. So, I'll just sleep. 
Nighty nighty, nighty nighty is your hunter name for the moment. <laughs> okay. I am so curious. Oh, but first I need to put my crabby potty down. We'll put it here. Okay, now put this bad boy up there. I wonder if it'll take a couple of days like it did with the fishmonger. Okay, yeah, he's still gone. Okay. I want to go back out that way because there was all those um, red spots and there's a dock over there so I can sleep. Don't have to be too worried about getting all the way back to the town. One strong wooden hull lays broken against the shoreline. The stern is completely bleached or beached. You pull a bit closer and manage to clamber into the back of the wreck. You look around. Oh, yeah, baby. More goodies. I'll take the ball. Thank you very much. Okay, I think the dredge spots were all over here. Yeah, right here. Oh, yes, wood. Ah, oh, that's it? Only one wood? Rip. Okay. That's the west. Do I have room on my boat? Have you played Fallout before? I ask because you sound like a true hoarder of items. No, I haven't played. <laughs> Better than no wood. <laughs> oh. I'm saved! Saved! Oh, you're a sight for these sore eyes. You look terrible. Are you okay? I bet I do. I've certainly felt better. I've been chewing on seaweed and starfish for longer than I'd like. I washed up here. Oh, it must have been two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas, and when a wave hit us broadside, I was jostled overboard and swept away. Thought my crew wouldn't come to find me by now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? No. Hmm. Nah! <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. Oh, uh, well, I'm sure they're out there looking for anyways. Can you get me to Little Maru, stranger? I should be able to catch them there when they next stop by. Yeah, I can take you. Oh, I got just enough room for you, buddy. Just enough room. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Did you see that? Like something came up out of the water and it looked kind of red. And then it, it vanished. Oh! That was creepy. All right, let's get you to Little Marl. Doot doot, motherfucker. I'm already losing my sanity, y'all. It was a swimming red panda, yeah. smell of civilization I thought I could never miss it he turns to you for someone who has just been saved he seems gloomy mm. I've not got much on me as you can imagine and I've a feeling this isn't worth much anymore for me at least but perhaps it'll be worth something for you he removes a signet ring from his left hand and presses it into yours it's emblazoned with a symbol of a captain's wheel the ship's wheel sigil is emblazoned proudly on this ring such a symbol is sure to bring good luck to any captain that holds it Am I supposed to keep it then? On to Better Horizons, friend. Farewell. <gasps> the 
dock worker's back! Dude, look at the dock worker! He's all... He's all gray! It was a red shark coming to the surface and then back into the water. Dude! Look! Oh, that sound! Ew! Yo, what the fuck? The dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear at what he sees. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally, a tremor shakes his body and his breathing becomes labored. He strains, clenching his fists, eyes shut tight with the effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. His body relaxes suddenly, and his eyes snap open again. They are cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. What was that? A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. Yo, what the fuck? So why didn't the fishmonger turn into a zombie? Homeboy was, uh, Homeboy A1. Why didn't he turn? Maybe it's the side. May I don't know. Kill him now. <laughs> I ain't got the means to do it. Do I have any? I have, okay, I have things for the ship, right? But I want to see the lighthouse keeper. Oh, there's nothing there. Can I talk to the mayor? No? Nobody, nobody cares about the dock worker? What the fuck? <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> nobody gives a shit. Oh, I need more wood. Bye. Okay, well, we're almost, we're almost to a new hole. Ooh, hydrate, thank you. Hey, Ruler, thank you so much for the bits. Water. Okay, um, we do have research. We can finally get this. And then... We can stick these guys in storage. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to hold you, but it has the same symbol as like the other things that are sellable. It's a goddamn Leviathan. <laughs> oh, yay, thank you for the hat pats. Yay, thank you. Um, oh no. But it says it brings good luck to any captain that holds it, so I wonder if this will keep us from getting, um, smacked by a leviathan. You know what I mean? Um, uh, okay. Okay, so now we've got this one. This is a twofer, so I can... I can sell this one. Buy this one. Nice. Okay. Maybe they'll, they'll say something about the dock worker the next day. Okay. Ugh. Anything? Oh, okay. Bye. 
I wonder if the dock worker's still there. I'm gonna take the... the Krabby Pot, because we gotta go to the next region soon. I just want to see if the dock worker is like... Oh, but wait, there's a creepy! We have to get creepy fishy. Um... Shit. <gasps> Shard Ray? What the fuck are you? go yes we got it Appreciation. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Ooh, a book. Oh, man, I'm so mad. Okay. Um, we'll sell you. No! Fuck! 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 <laughs> Restart! <laughs> oh, no, I, I have to save and quit. No! just the earring but it sold both things <laughs> I hit the wrong I hit the wrong key and I and I freaking lost my my stingray you can't buy it back it doesn't have that option No, you can't buy back trinkets. Okay. Okay, lady, can you please fix my boat? Thank you. Okay, I want to see what this says. The stone skin of this ray is molded around a black crystal shard. The rock fragments articulate and grind together. <gasps> oh, I wonder if those, I wonder if it's those black rocks we saw. I wonder if they're causing the corruption. haven't seen that strange red light in a while. Wonder what it was. I knew it! It was the relic! Oh, wait. I just want to sell you. Okay. There we go. Okay. Where is... Gale Cliffs? I lost the hidden ending! No! <laughs> I actually don't know. I wonder if there's anything on Google that says if it does anything or not. Um, okay, it's past Blackstone Isle. Okay. So it's, pla it's past Blackstone Isle. Which way though? I guess it's that over there?
And you know what I haven't seen in a while is another um, message, like a bottle. I sell someone's personal gift. I'm sorry. <laughs> Leviathan? That was definitely something. <laughs> trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. Can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Okay. You'll be decently compensated. Uh, what can you tell me about the cliffs? Hmm. Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legends tell of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement, and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There certainly are a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed, their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Uh, we, we saw big, big fishy, like Leviathan fishy. <laughs> we, yeah, 1990s true form. Do you know of any odd characters? Oh. Have you heard the tale of Ma Magran? He was an old whaler from these parts. As the whales got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. Magran, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of these trips. He says the scroll told him to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magran the Fishman. One day the town awoke to find all the boats, nets, and lines had been slashed in the night, and old Magran was nowhere to be found, nor has he been seen since. What? <laughs> Where can I sell my fish here? We catch our fish ourselves, so we don't have much need for buying any. But there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. He buys and sells almost anything, and she does repairs too. Nice! Okay. Uh, who's this guy? What is it? The real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his, regretting his decision now, the devil. Okay. Mm. Some time ago, just after the last whale was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past, packed up and hurrying away north as fast as they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear of them since. Huh. Santa is real! Ingfell used to be a whaling town, emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago, and now look at us, barely scraping by for a new candle. Some 20 years ago! The same time as the fog! Yo! Anything else? No, I'll see you. I'm going to sleep. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see, what do we got? I'm gonna drop my net, my little crabby pot, somewhere around here. That must be the merchant over there. Oh, a bottle! A bottle! Yay! Yeah! Artifact manifest. Huh. Oh. I swear to God, this is a prequel for Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> Ahoy there, you're a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. <laughs> I'm a traveler and a merchant, all rolled into one. If you have a fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. <laughs> Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. Oh, Kidoki. Oh, yeah. you have a thrust too. Hey again, come by for a chat. You need help with anything. <laughs> Assistance from an angler? Absolutely! I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share your info with me? Great! The fish I have left to track down are oarfish, gulper eel, goliath tigerfish, and coelacanth. I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. Hmm. What did you want to know? Uh, tell me about oarfish. Given that the oarfish has a long and fragile body, I suspect they'll live in reasonably deep but calm water. Maybe the shelter of Gale Cliffs would suit them. Okay, so they're in Gale Cliffs. They live at the deepest depths imaginable. You'll have to get some specialist gear to catch one of those. Okay. These guys are legitimately scary. They hunt in murky, swampy waters using the shade of trees as cover. Okay. Actually, I have no idea where they might be, but they have a primordial feel to them, don't you think? What the hell does that mean? Do you ever see strange things out at sea? Hmm. Strange things? Plenty, but I try not to dwell on them. You could go crazy, you know? <laughs> but hey, if you're seeing strange things, maybe you're not seeing them right the right way. Maybe they're not so strange after all. Or perhaps they are, and they're incredibly dangerous. Better not risk it. Are you always out on the water? Yeah, always. I like to keep moving along. The merchanting is second, secondary to the traveling, really. I'm more of a merchanting traveler. I get to see a lot of places, which is nice. I also get to meet a lot of people, which is also only sometimes nice. <laughs> That's a mood. Oh, uh, there's Inkfell across the bay. Hold on a sec. Hello? Hello? How was stream? <sighs> nah, I really. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. What? What happened? The residents are always talking about the cliffs. Most seem afraid. Frankly, I'm not sure why they stay. Occasionally, I hear deep rumblings from within the rocks. I don't hang around here for long. Good night, Sparrow! Oh, that sucks, Arnett. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I don't really need anything from you right now, but I do want to drop my Krabby Pot somewhere. Whee. Okay, there's plenty here, so... <laughs> I wish you streamed more. Um, come summertime, I'll be able to, because Kiddo will be out of school for the summer, and I'll be able to stream more often. I've been good. 
good. I'm uh, playing this creepy fishing game. It's it's really fun. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? Uh, this place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. Okay, Arnett, have a good night. Thank you for the lurk and thank you for the raid. Humo, how have you been? Um, maybe when she's a little older. She's only 11, so I really, I wanna wait until she's a little bit older before I let her get on the interwebs. <laughs> I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Oh. Now I'm alone, cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I can help you move to Inkville? Oh. It's not that simple. My brother would never, you see, I used to live in Inkfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. He looks like me is my grandpa. <laughs> when my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Oh, why didn't you give it back to him then? Again, it's not as simple as that. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the house down to its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know. But if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. I'll look for it. Ah. It even speaks like you. <laughs> Thank you, but please be careful. Okay. Cab. Uh, cabin. 49% complete. Okay. Pursuits. Search for relics. Okay. Catch rare fish. Deliver rotting conger eel. Find the family crest in Gale Cliffs. Okay. Nike. 
Kumo Kiri. Have a good night. Okay, fish market. On this side of the platoon, I don't buy any fish you want to sell. I'll also keep stock of crab pot here. Okay. Um, sell fishy. Julio. Ah! <laughs> try to dredge up whatever's up here. Oh no 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 oh. Okay it's gone. Okay cool. Ooh what are you? Oh my god you're so fast what the fuck? Oh, a research park! Oh, sweet! Oh gosh, that dark real fast. Okay, we're going back. I am not trying to test the waters. Nighty night is coming! Nighty night! No! I don't want him! I don't want him! Okay, no. Um, research. Refined twin prop. Uh, twenty six or thirty. I'm gonna need both eventually, but this require okay. This requires only two, so we'll do this first. Um. We still need wood, don't we? Mm. We need two wood. Okay. Go to sleep. Oceanic perch. <sighs> Mother. What are you doing in my house, bitch? I'm sorry. I need to find a crest. A bolt of cloth. that that press and that's what I'm trying to find Play one of these guys. Well, you know I'm going through a rock wall so we're just gonna go back to the uh bruh we're gonna go no fuck you
I have to go back and do repairs. Okay. <sighs> This miserable looking creature carries a dangerous amount of venom in its dorsal fins. Handle with care. A popular crab for eating. Also known as the rose fish, this brightly colored little fish has sharp thorny fins. Cute. Only 67 bucks for those? Damn. Um, storage. We'll just take these all there. <laughs> Uh, shipyard. Mm. Yes, I ran. No, it wasn't. I got hit by a fucking Leviathan or whatever the fuck he is. I don't know, but he hurts. <laughs> okay. Go to sleep. <laughs> Looks like you have to dodge him. I wonder if there's like a mechanic where like if he comes around, if like if you're still... He doesn't see you, but he see or like he hears you if you move or something. Okay, I want to see where. Okay, there's an X there at the ruins. There's an X there. How do I get there? That's Ingfell. And then this would be. It's hard to get my bearings on this map. I don't know. Did you have your light on? Yeah, I did. Maybe I can't have my light on. Let's turn the light off right now. And we'll see if that works. Okay, so there's an X there, but I can't do anything about that. And this is through the thing and like straight across. Ooh, what an interesting wind. Is the wind trying to show me something? Okay, so it's not the... It's not the light. What the actual fuck? Yo! Decorator crab? Having covered itself in detritus, this creature hardly resembles a crab at all. Well... I'm trying, man! <laughs> okay, we're gonna sell this. 25, 12. They don't sell for very much, but... Hmm. Another $60. Son of a bitch. Alright. It's only 10 a.m. I'm in mess because I enjoy it. What? I just want to find this crest so I can continue this, this, this thing. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck 
Park. Nice. Oh, fuck. Oh, and there's a creepy fishy right here. Oh, I can't do it! Fuck! Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh! Oh yeah, I don't have fish. I just gotta fucking repair my shit again! Oy vey! <laughs> okay, we can finally unlock the hole. Yes, let's go! Oh man, I need more... I need more wood. But... We've got this. Got this. We need three woods and whatever this refined metal. I need more everything. I know. Fuck. Okay. Um, research. Hmm. How much is this engine? Three hundred. Goes 26. This goes 15. This goes 14. This goes 10. That's 24. Like 16. No, 26. No, tw How much is that? 14.7 plus 10.5. That's 24. So 30. So 32? And this goes 26. So... Not really doing me any favors? And it's bigger? So I guess I don't really need it, huh? It just goes faster. It goes 26.3 uh, KN. But it's it's a three it's a three-way um, spot. So I could only do this and another engine. But these two together is better than that. And this is 15. 
52 if you do two of them. Okay, we're gonna have to save up then and get 600, and then we can do both. Okay. Uh, let's see, we're at 14.7, 10.5, and 15.8. I could theoretically do three 15.8s. Because I only need 400 to buy the other two. So that would be 15 point 8, 15 point 8, 15 point 8. 15 and 15 is 30. 45. I mean, this is the goal. I need to outrun abusive fishy boyfriend. <laughs> But, what is 315.8? I'm terrible at math. What's 15.8 times 3? Seven point four, and you said the bigger one would be fifty two. I don't think you can get the three of the improved outboards. Master Kane, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you. Because of the shape, this one it's a two first. So if I got rid of these two, I'd be able to buy two more. And that would put me at 47.4. But he said that two of these would be 52. So then I could I would have to do two of these. And I could do that, like one right here, one right here. 52.6. I mean that's five five knots faster. Okay, we're gonna have to fish for some uh fishies. And try and uh thirty point four. don't know where to look for it that's the problem and like he finds me whichever direction I go Rocks and everything too. Gosh dang. Hey. 
bag of doubloons. Ooh. Ahoy, matey. Man, not even trying to. if I can't find a way to the other side of that rock thing. Ah! <laughs> no! Stop! work on the camera. The camera's a, is messing me up a little bit. That's where... Okay, no. This is where... Oh my god, no! Wait, what the hell? What is the camera doing? to go in this waterfall. Oh my god. Please don't come in. Yes. Hide out. Ooh. Ooh. What's this? Treasure. A rotten chest sits atop a pile of rubble at the back of the cave. Ooh. A big bag of doubloons. Hell yeah. Oh, and this is the thing we need for the for the hole. Oh, fuck yeah! There's like a thingy back here. Oh, it's a long fishy. A fish here. Abyssal. Ooh. I have to come back for him. If he cut if the dude if the fishy comes back, we can at least hide in there. So there's something gold right here. Oh this is it! This is it, I think! Yes! The crest! We got it! Okay. We're getting the fuck out of here. Nope, we're getting the fuck out of here. Okay, maybe we'll pick up some cloth. Okay. 
that's it, it's six o'clock, we're going. We're getting the fuck out of this popsicle stand, yo! <laughs> Oh god, the eyeball's about to come out. No! Let's go! No! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh! Look, there's the red thing over there! That must be where the relic is! Okay. <sighs> Um, I have no fish for you, but I am going to put that to storage, put that to storage, and that. We're going to go to the floating dock, get this in there, and then we need three woods. Three woods. We're going to go to sleep. Nighttime is nope time, yeah. And apparently, from what I've seen, the longer you stay awake, the crazier the screen gets, and the more dangerous it gets, even during the day. Uh, let's see, what was that new book that we got? A preachy and disjointed set of articles on how and not and how not to operate engines. In general, it was far too overcautious for my thinking. A strange journey smattered with quotes and wisdoms that promised enlightenment, but towards the end it became a tedious and unrewarding slog akin to climbing a mountain. An odd mix of relaxation and frustration. Maybe I'll read it again someday. So 15% resilience to panic. Engine provides 5% more movement speed than listed. Ooh, okay. On shelf. The relaxed mind. Um, it's called Dredge. Not true, look at me. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, hold on. I need to fix this camera. Uh... I just need the sensitivity to go down. I don't want it to be so sensitive. Maybe that'll help? Ooh, big boy. Okay, let's go give this rest to the old man. take care of that because we might get some uh, research cards ah. hello again what can I do for you is this your family crust <laughs> you found it I never thought I'd see this beauty again but now I have a further favor to ask would you take this to my brother at Ingfeld tell him tell him his brother is sorry and would like to come home Aww. Poor Grandpa. Grandpa just wants to go home. Beep, 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 beep. Toot, toot, motherfuckers! I know, I'm really curious. When we when we get the relic, we'll, we'll have to head back anyways, so then we'll, we'll get to find out. Hired Railer. Whaler. I believe this crest is yours. Gods, oh, haven't seen this since. Hmm. So we did take it. Do it. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? Hmm. I don't know if I was in a right state when he left. <sighs> okay, fine. You can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being. But I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut. With explosives. I was able to select a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to get in there and set it off. 
not that far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Okay, I know where it is. Okay, I remember. Beep, 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 beep. It was in this area. Means I have to deal with that motherfucker again. No, fuck you. him who's boss. You know what? I wonder. This thing. I wonder if that's why it's it keeps coming after me. I'm gonna try something. I want to see something. Oh. I want to see if that makes him not as, like come after me as much. The camera's going crazy. Ah. You light the fuse. Boom goes the dynamite. You let the whaler know. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't do jack shit for this guy. All right. Well, it was worth a sh it was worth checking out. down the drain, son of a bitch. Go to sleep. Go talk to the old man. cutscenes save you? No, but I think docking does. I think if you make it to a dock, they go away. Huh. Done it. You heard the blast from here. Gods, the echo. Surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. Got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. Aww! Finally something good about this Godforsaken place! <laughs> no! Fuck you! Ah. Hello again. What can I do for you? 
Your brother forgives you. He's found a place to stay. He does? That's a huge weight off my chest. One so old, I hardly remembered it was there. <laughs> right, well, I'm packed and ready to go. All right, Gramps, let's go. The hermit climbs aboard with all of his belongings. Beep, 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 beep. I don't believe it. <laughs> well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock waiting for him. Little brother, you're home. I'm, I'm so sorry. I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside. Let me get your bag. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. Oh, stranger, if you find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. <gasps> Come by the whaling yards any time. Yeah! Here, this one's on the house for all your help. Hell yeah! Hope you can put them to good use wherever you find cause for them. Oh, they're 40 bucks a pop? God damn. Okay, we'll buy... We'll buy one more. For right now. I want to see if we can blow up this thing over here. A pile of loose debris, it could be cleared to make a shortcut. Boom goes the dynamite, baby! Okay. We're gonna do this slowly. Dredge. Cool. Ooh! Oh, shit! There. Okay. Oh, we need another... Need another one for over there. But we gotta go blow up the thing for the relic. So we'll do the relic. And then we'll try to fish some stuff. Um, we still need wood. We need more wood. But we got explosives now. I think the I think this is where the relic is. Red. Yeah, rusted music box. Let's go. Then I want to dredge this. Shapes in the deep. Ooh. Sapphire earrings. Ooh! Dirty. Okay. Do I have any fish in my thing? No, but I do have the crabby. Oh! Oh! There's something here! Ooh! A blackmouth salmon! Oh, that's the go! But there's a cursed one in here. Oh, decaying blackmouth! Oh! Nasty! Okay. Oh, 
we don't have room for these guys yet. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'll come back for you in the morning. <laughs> the eyes open. Okay, let's see. Decaying black mouth. A shimmering blackness permeates the flesh of this relentless fish. Muscles atrophied and decaying, but still it swims on. Ugh. You've promises to keep black mouth and miles to swim before you sleep. Damn. Okay. Eat a storage. Uh, shipyard. No, no, no. I need dry dock. Okay, we don't need this, so I can put this in storage. And I can go to sleep. I have explosives now. <laughs> I wonder if you can use explosives on those guys. I don't think you can. That'd be nice if you could though. Oh, our, our thingy is done. Where is it? 10. Ooh, more resilience to panic. The biggest load of rubbish I've ever read. It goes on and on about breathing exercises and controlling your heart rate as if that could help me. So 15% and temp, so 25% resilience to panic now. Noise. Okay. Okay. Where's the lighthouse? It's over there. We gotta head back. Yeah, we're gonna go visit our our creepy guy. We gotta visit our our uh, our Cthulhu disciple. We gotta go fast. Dolphins! Oh, look how cute they are! Toot toot! Toot toot! They're so cute! Let's go! Oh look, there's an- there's- there's more of those black rocks here. The stone home's quietly sending ripples. Place your hand on the stone. Oh, the stone does not respond to you. Wonder what you have to do to get it to respond and what happens if it responds. <gasps> you know how the, the creepy fish, some of them are talking about black rocks? I wonder if I have to be panicked to like have it work or it has to be nighttime or something. Everything changed when the dolphins attacked. <laughs> the dolphin nation. Okay, ruined mansion. So you returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You dragged the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. Found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Ah, excellent. <gasps> this should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the crimson bound book, opening it to some unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly as though thrown by a high wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Instantly return? Oh! I can't teleport! Now, there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. The reef at Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh... Da, 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 da. Okay. Um, sweet! Alright, I'm gonna go sell... Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Okay. I'm gonna go... 
We're gonna go look at- we're gonna go check in on the dock worker. We're gonna see if he's become even more zombified. We're gonna sell all of the goodies that we got. Okay, first, storage. Let's get... Let's get our doubloons. Their trinket and earring. Okay, there's the dock worker. It's so nasty. The dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear at what he sees. So he just stays like that forever? Damn. Did the grieving father say anything new? No. Okay. Found anything special lately? Yes. Ooh, $275 worth. Hell yeah. Okay. We're gonna go across the way. Well, no, that'll take me back to the to the mansion. I want to go over here to the town. The lighthouse keeper is waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. <sighs> I saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. You really think that's wise? What's the problem? Feels a bit like tempting fate, does it not? Things are bad enough around here without your provocations. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water. She walks along the dock. What? Hi, Hyacon. Fishmonger. Sell these. Needs repair. Uh. Do I have any research parts? No, I don't. Okay. Do we have enough to get the thing? Oh, we do! Okay. We're gonna sell all of these and get the two, two of these. Okay. So we're gonna uninstall. Oh, I can't sell this one. Okay. We'll just put you in there for We're gonna sell you. We're gonna sell you. We're gonna buy one of you. Oh <gasps> no! I can only buy one. What? Oh, I wonder if there'll be more tomorrow. Let's go to sleep. Maybe there'll be some more in the in the day. Yes! Okay. Can I not? I guess he has to do it this way? <laughs> How funny. Okay. Whatever. I did it! <laughs> what is it? Have you seen anything significant from the lighthouse recently? Mm. The fog. It's behaving. It's as though it's reacting to the lights that cut through it. It swirls and crashes against the edges. From the top of the lighthouse, I can see dark figures seething in the thickest tracks out beyond Little Morrow where the light dwindled. Of all that I've seen, your lights seem to anger them the most. What? My lights anger it the most? Oh shit, son! <laughs> oh, we had them. Oh, I forgot we had this message. Vessel, S.Y. Grand Prize, owner, Mr. Michael Schultz, from Gale Cliffs. Oaken Music Box, purchased from the Antiquarian at Little Morrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the underside, otherwise in reasonable condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. Pending inspecting my luck. It says J! I wonder if that's Jamie, like that boat. I wonder if these are like the things that fell out of their boat. 
Wooden mask. Carved wooden tribal mask said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Trade it for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. Well, you got fucked over, sir. 12 piece tea set. Bone china, six cups, and six saucers. Acquired from an Eastern dealer. Do not use. Jar of earth. A jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. Oh, okay. What? Okay, so it wants me to go here. Oh, damn, that's way the fuck over there. Uh, encyclopedia. Ooh! Creepy crawlies! <laughs> okay. Um... Does the mayor have anything new to say? No. Okay. Okay, Stellar Basin is going... Instead of going straight down, going in the opposite direction? Okay, Spara. A literal jar of dirt. I wonder if you can find that stuff. Okay. Um... Let's try to make our way to the next bot before I end stream. Ooh, cursed fishy! Cursed fishy! Cursed fishy. <gasps> A blood skin shark? Oh, we already got this guy. Oh, okay. So it's not new. Okay. I'm guessing we have to go this way. Gotta go fast! Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Oh my gosh, it's way the fuck out there. Holy shit, man. Oh, I see, I see, I see shipwreck. I see shipwreck. Abyssal. Oh. Can I put my crabby pots? Wood. Oh, um, we need wood, not metal. We'll have to come back. I see a oh, a bottle, a bottle, a new bottle. Yeah. Uh. Go. All right. We'll come check this place out in a second. I want to find the merchant. There's got to be a merchant somewhere. It's getting dark. Oh, fuck. Oh, please let there be a merchant somewhere. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Deer. Thank goodness I found her. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> no research part. Did I have? No, I didn't have anything. to sleep. I prefer <laughs> Leviathan is coming. No! Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> that was fun. We will do this again. I am going to play this again. Tomorrow and Sunday, I have collabs. So I can't do them this weekend. But. We can do it next Friday. We can play this. I'll play this again Friday night. Next Friday. We'll do this again. Because I can do this Friday and Sunday of next week. Because this is fun. This is really cool. Um, Let me check real quick. Who is around to raid? Hello? Okay. <laughs> Is, is, is Red Panda Cousin on? Oh, Bio's in Endwalker already. Damn, he is going fast. Wow. Raid Shadow Legend. <laughs> Uh, Cousin's playing Fortnite. Um... Uh, Bio's probably gonna be heading to bed soon, because every time I stream- every time I- every time he- uh, <laughs> uh, let's go to Hinokyo. We haven't raided Hinokyo for a while. Oh, wait! Lele! Lele's debuting! Okay, we'll go raid Lele. Cause she got a new model and she's on she's debuting. Okay. Okay, we're gonna raid Lele. Okay, so tomorrow, you guys. Tomorrow is the collab. <laughs> Spara, have a good night. Get some sleep. Um Tomorrow is the Core Keeper collab with Uncle Goose and Kat and Katasha and Sakura and Neapolitan. And then Sunday, Red Panda Cuz and I are going to try to do Stardew Valley Expanded in multiplayer mode. And if that doesn't work, he got me Sunhaven and, we'll, and he'll show me around that game. So one way or the other, we're going to have a chill collab. Yay, Hip Hats! <clears throat> When we go to raid Hinokyo, make sure you throw lots of tonberries at her. She's so sweet. And she's got the cutest voice ever. <laughs> Sunhaven was disappointing. He loves it, I guess. But he gave it to me, so I'll I'll let him I'll let him show me around. <laughs> but alright, I will see you guys tomorrow night. Follow me on Twitter or join the Discord to know when I'm going live. I think it's gonna be at nine again. 
but I'll let you guys know. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will talk to you later. Good night.